So if you think about the crust of the Earth, kind of like uh, the shell of an egg. So if I draw an egg, here's my egg, and the shell of the egg is cracked. And it's not just one solid piece. We, you know, we boil the egg and we kind of drop it, and we have cracks all over the shell of the egg. Well, that's pretty much how you can envision what the Earth is like. It is um, has the shell around it that we call the crust, but the crust isn't all one piece. It is in different sections, and these sections are called plates. And these plates move, and because the plates move, then you get the continents moving, and you know it goes back to our talk about Pangaea. Um, <clears throat> and how the plates move, we can start by talking about something called the mid, mid ocean ridge. Mid ocean ridge. And we'll start um, discussing the mid ocean ridge by talking about this, this mountain range in the Atlantic um, where we have one section of crust and another section of crust meeting in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and underneath this crust of course we have what we know as the mantle and the mantle is <coughs> generally a solid but very liquid like um, and underneath the mantle we have of course our core which is extremely hot and because of the heat of that core it's going to heat up our mantle and just like um, in any uh, convection system the hot magma in the mantle will rise, will rise up like this, okay, and it's going to rise up, and it kind of circulates around, and it cools down, and when it cools down, it becomes more dense, and we get this convection current. Same thing happens on this side, and we get a convection current. Convection. Convection. Oops. Convection. All right. So this convection current spins and rotates, and because of that rotation, we get the um, the plate moving in this direction because of the flow of this convection current. And looking at the flow of this convection current, you can probably assume that we get the plate moving in that direction. Well, we have this empty space. And so what fills that empty space, of course, would be the magma from the mantle. So the magma rises up along with this convection and fills this space, and we get kind of a mountain range building and building. Um, and that's our mid-ocean ridge. So with c this convection current at the mid-ocean ridge and the plates moving to the right and to the left, um, we have new seafloor pushing the old seafloor. Old seafloor. Alright, and so we get the idea of seafloor spreading. So again, this convection current spins, pushes this plate to the right, pushes this plate to the left, and so our seafloor is expanding. And it's, it's pushing to the left and to the right, and this plate is moving, and this plate is moving. Well, if that was just the end of the story, then Earth would just be, become bigger and bigger and bigger. So there has to be some sort of um, recycling system. So what happens, let's put it over here. You know, like we said, the world, the Earth is full of plates, right? And so with, if one plate moves in one direction, it's going to run into another plate, right? It's going to run into this plate. So here, we have a plate, and so this plate is traveling in this direction. And what often happens is that the more dense plate will be heavier, and when it strikes the oncoming plate, all right, let's say this plate is going this way, and this plate is going this way, well, let's say this one is denser, and it's going to sink back down into the mantle. All right, and that term is subduction. Hope it fits. Subduction. All right, let me 
change change colors here real quick. So <clears throat> we have the core heating up the mantle. Heats up the mantle, and the mantle um, has this magma inside the mantle, and the magma circulates, and that circulation is called convection. The convection moves in a circular path, and it will push the plates and push them in opposite directions. And when it's doing that, the magma will also rise and fill in the empty space and create new plates or new sea floor while it's also pushing the crust in opposite directions. Well, when one end of the crust reaches another plate or another part of crust, um, off, what oftentimes will happen is that crust will sink in a process called subduction. What happens after that, as you might imagine, is that the crust will then um, melt and become magma again. And so here's my magma. All right, and the magma builds, the magma builds, and lo and behold, what do we have forming? We have the formation of volcanoes and the eruption of volcanoes. All right, so I'm running on uh, six and a half minutes here, so I hope that um, gives you a, a good review of plate tectonics, okay, uh, the mid-ocean ridge, and kind of the basics of, of how this moves. And again, we have um, something I didn't mention. We have these two plates separating. So this separation, this boundary between this plate and this plate, this would be called a divergent divergent boundary. All right, so we've got a lot of information here. So um, a lot of terminology, mantle, convection, core, subduction, mid-ocean ridge, divergent boundary. Um, watch it a few times and uh, hope it helps you for the quiz.